you need to run your Instagram ads from your Facebook business manager account. If you want to get access to different options that will help you to run profitable Instagram ads. Now I get it. You will want to run your Instagram ads from your Instagram app. But the problem with running your Instagram ads from your Instagram app is this. Most of the time, you don't have much options that will help you to optimize your Instagram ads. All right. And remember, Facebook is actually the owner of Instagram. So they have put everything together so you can be able to run your Instagram Instagram ad from your Facebook business manager account so you can get access to different targeting options and different options that will help you to run profitable Instagram ads right now in this video I'm going to show you how to run your Instagram ads from your Facebook business manager account now if you don't know how to come over to this ads manager this particular point I mean right now don't worry I've already created a video a Facebook ads training video that will show you how to set up your Facebook business manager account and I'm going to link the video somewhere around this video or in the description video so if you don't know how to set up your Facebook business manager account just click on the link around this video or in the description video and watch the video first before you come over to watch this particular video it's in this year welcome to another video if this is your first time here and you want to learn how to get more customers make more sales and grow your business using social media platforms and other powerful marketing and sales strategies then consider hitting the subscribe button and enable notifications so you don't miss out on any video i post on this channel without further ado let's get started so now you click on create and then you select the campaign objective you want to use so let me just select traffic objective right so but remember if you want to optimize for sales you either select conversion objective or messages objective right then you now scroll down and then name your campaign so let me just say yes instagram app. right just name your campaign objective then you click on continue you can decide to turn on your campaign budget optimization or you can decide to leave that right so but most of the time you use your campaign budget optimization when you want to duplicate your assets you know duplicate your asset and then test different audiences or maybe different variables in your assets that is actually when you use your campaign budget optimization right so but since i'm not going to duplicate any asset i'm going to leave it off so you now click on next remember i just selected traffic of objective but if you want to optimize for sales then you need to select conversion objective right so since i'm using traffic objective you have to choose where you want to drive traffic to so i'm going to just leave it at websites for now right then you now scroll down to budget and schedule under budget just put in the amount of budget you want to spend so let's say maybe i want to use three thousand then you scroll down again for the start date and end dates remember what i told you before you can either set an end date for your ad right but it's optional so if you don't set an end date for your ads you need to now go and off your ad like if you want to run your ads for like a 14 day interval after the 14 days you need to go to your ads manager and manually turn off your ad if you don't turn off your ad your ad will keep running right but why i don't really advise my client to set an, an end date is this if you set an end date to an ad what if your ad will start performing very well do you understand if you set an end date facebook will automatically switch off your ad when that date reaches and what if your ad is performing very well you just see that facebook have actually switched it up right so that's why personally i always love to switch off my ad by myself so that if the ad is performing very well i can even need it to run for months do you understand so that's why personally i don't usually put an end date i like to leave it like that and then manually turn off my ad by myself now the next thing for you to do is your audience right so you need to select the audience you want to use so let's say maybe you want to target your customer audience or your lookalike audiences right by now you must have set your customer lookalike audience just simply select here and then you see all your all your customer audiences and your lookalike audiences right you just basically select the lookalike audience so let me just select one lookalike audience now let me select another one too all right let me select another one and another one right so so you can actually select both your lookalike audiences and your custom audiences 
right? You can select both your lookalike audiences and your custom audiences. Just select it based on you know what you want to achieve with your ads. Now, under location, you can decide to target the whole of your country or you can target specific cities, right? So let me just leave it at the whole of Nigeria. But age, you need to select the age range of your target audience. By now, you must have known your target audience, right? So you need to now select the right age range. I mean, people that can that love what you're selling and also can afford what you're selling. So let's say maybe you're selling shoes, female shoes, and you're selling like quality female shoes, like imported quality female shoes, like let's say UK or Turkey female shoes. You know that you cannot just target, you know, 16 year old females or maybe 18 year old females because most of them are still dependent on their parents, right? So they might love what you are selling, but they cannot afford what you are selling. So that is why it's good to be very, very sure that you've done your research very well and you've actually understood who your target audience are so that whenever you come under targeting you can be able to select the right criteria that will help you to make facebook to show your ass to the right people who will be interested in what you're selling and also who can afford what you're selling so right now let's say maybe you are selling female shoes or maybe female handbags right so let's just select, you can start from 23 years and above. Now since it's female handbag, we're going to select women, right? I will not leave it at all because most of the time, men are not really interested in handbags. Now you now scroll down again, under detailed targeting. Remember what I told you before now, just select only one interest. Don't cluster your interest in just one ad set, right? You can decide to test different interests by duplicating your ad set and then testing different interests on different assets so you can know the one that is bringing in more leads for your business that's if you are optimizing for leads or more sales for your business if you are optimizing for sales right so you are going to just I'm just going to just click here and then select since I'm, i want to target people that are interested in handbags i can just type in handbags here all right there's handbag here so let me just select it and see right so i will just basically target only people that are interested in handbags i will not put another interest so even if i want to put another interest i will just simply duplicate my asset right i will just duplicate my asset and then test another interest so you can actually test another interest like fashion accessories right you can test another interest like fashion accessories in a different asset so that you can actually track the particular ad set that is giving you maximum results. That's why I advise this particular strategy, right? Now, detailed targeting expansion, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So it's just better for you to test and see if it's actually going to work for your kind of business. But for me, I don't usually select it. I usually leave it turned up, right? Now, you can decide to save your audience. So you just click on save and then you can save your audience. So you can just say handbag interest, right? You can just say handbag interest and then you click on save. Now under placement, there are two types of placements. The first one is automatic placement and then the next one is manual placement. But most of the time, I would advise you you go with manual placement so that you can be the one to select where you want Facebook to show your ads to. Right, and remember, you are running ads for your Instagram. So, if you select automatic placement, it's going to show your ads both on Facebook audience network, on Facebook platform, on Instagram platform, on Messenger platform. So, you wouldn't want that. Remember, you are running Instagram ads. So, you are going to select manual placement so that you can place your ad only on Instagram. Right, remember, you are running Instagram ads. Now, I'm now going to deselect Facebook, I'll deselect audience network, I'll deselect messenger and leave it at only instagram now under instagram you can actually select if you want it to be on instagram feed on instagram explore and on instagram shop now if you are in other countries you can decide to leave it at instagram shop but i know that in nigeria instagram shop is not yet available so i'm going to select instagram shop because there's no need of wasting my ad budget right you will now scroll down again i will select only instagram stories I'm going to target all devices. So I'm going to target both iOS and Android, right? So you select all devices and then you scroll down again. Under optimization for ad delivery, you optimize for whatever you want to optimize for. So you can optimize for landing page view, link clicks, daily unique reach and impressions. 
but for this video i'm going to be optimizing for link clicks now the next thing is when are you charged so you can decide to allow people to charge you per impression or per link clicks by impression that is anytime somebody sees your ad facebook will charge you that's what it means by impression but palinkly means that facebook will only charge you when somebody clicks on your ad so you just decide on the one you want facebook to charge you on so for now i'm just going to leave it at palinkly anyone you want to use you can actually use now we are done with the ad set level the next thing is for us to move to the ad level so we are basically going to click on next right so this is the ad level now on the ad level remember we are running the ads to your instagram page so facebook will ask you to select the instagram account all right they will ask you to select the instagram account you want to run the ads to remember by now you must have linked your instagram account to your facebook business manager account now if you don't know how to link your instagram page to your facebook business manager account don't worry i've actually created a facebook ads training right i'm going to put the link in the description so make sure you go to the description and watch the video so you can learn how to link your instagram page to your facebook business manager account right so i'm going to select this place now and then i'll select my instagram page now when i select my instagram page the next thing is for you to set up your ads now there are two ways to do this you can either create an ad or you can use an existing ad right you can either create a new ad or you can use an existing post right so you can click on create a new ad or you can just click on this drop down arrow and then click on use existing post now when you click on use the existing post you can now select the post you want to use so you can just click on select post you click on Instagram and then select the post you want to use. So once you select the post you want to, you just click on continue, and they will bring that you know post for you to use it and run ads. But for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to be using that method. I'm going to be clicking on create ad. So I'm going to be creating a new ad. So there are different formats you can actually use to structure your ad. You can actually run a single image or video, or you can run a carousel ad or a collection ad. So it just depends on the kind of business you are into. You can just select the format that is suitable for your business. So for this particular video, I'm going to be using single image or video. Under ad media, you are going to select either image or video. So if you want to add an image, you can actually click on add image. But if you want to use video to run your ad, you can click on add video. So it depends on what you want to use. To run your ads now for the purpose of this video i'm going to be clicking on add image so when you click on add image they're going to see different images pop up that's the ones you've actually used to run your ads before now right either you select the image if the image is here already you just click on the image and then use it but if the image is not here you just click on this upload button here and then select the ad creative you want to use to run ads so i'm going to just select this image here now when you select the image just click on next now when you click on next the next thing is for you to optimize the image you just click on optimize to be able to optimize your image it's just basically you adding an enhancement just to make the video brighter and sharper right so you can see here allow enhancement is actually enabled for this particular photo right so you just click on done and you'll be able to use it to run your ads right now the next thing is for you to add your primary text so basically before you even start creating your ads you must have written your sales copy for your ad is a must you must have written your sales copy for your ad and you set it on your microsoft Word or maybe your google docs just go there and copy it and then come over to the primary text and paste it here it's as simple as that so there is no need of you trying to correct your brain to write a sales copy before now you must have written your compelling sales copy that can pull in sales that can make people compare people to buy your products just simply copy it and come here and paste it right once you paste it you will just scroll down and then add your headline which is also important now most of the time if you notice instagram doesn't show you the headline of your ad unless you are running the ads to your facebook they usually show you only the primary text and then the, the call to action right which is just the button so you can decide to put in the headline or you can leave it that way now the next thing is for you to select your call to action now there are different options here 
under call to action there is contact us there is download there is get offer there is get quotes there is learn more there is listing now there is order now there is get access so it depends on your business goal what is the goal of your ad what do you want to achieve with your ad maybe you are selling services like you want some you want to give them free free gifts or freebie or maybe a lead magnet you will just select download as your call to action right so maybe you have a hot offer for them you want them to grab an offer maybe a three-day offer or a one-week offer you can actually use get offer right or maybe you are you are, you are selling a consulting section right you can select contact us maybe you want them to book for their consulting section you can select you can use the call to action contact us right or maybe you are selling a physical product and you want people to order order your physical product just select order now as your call to action most of the time a lot of people actually use learn more button because they're just telling the, the clients just come and learn come and learn more about this product come and learn more about what i'm talking about right so most of the time can actually make more people to click on your link because you just want to know about whatever you are selling but when you use order you know sometimes when you use like order now or get offer or all those things sometimes they'll just feel like yeah, you want to come and sell to them and they might not be motivated to click on the link but when you use learn more it's kind of soft so like so they can just let me just click it and see what this person has to offer do you understand after selecting your call to action the next thing for you to do is for you to put in your website url so you can put in the URL of your website, right? We are running a traffic ad and you selected your website as, you know, the place you want to send traffic to. So you need to put in your website URL. Now you can, you might be asking, what if I don't have a website URL? Where can I send people to? Yes, you can actually send people to your WhatsApp. You can use one.link to create a WhatsApp link. Now it's just basically for you to come over here and put in your phone number. Let me put it for you so you can see. So when you put in your phone number, you just put in your custom message. Let's say maybe you are selling handbags. You can put in your custom message and say, hello. You put in your name, hello. You know, let me say, hello Eunice. Please, I'm interested in your handbags, right? So just put in your custom message. Now, when you put in your custom message, you simply click on generate link and this particular website will generate a custom WhatsApp link for you, right? Look at the preview of this message, this custom message. Look at it here. This is what they are going to see. They just simply have to click on send and this message will be sent to you. Simply copy that link and come over to your ads manager. Then under your website URL, just put it there. Now, when you put it there, once somebody clicks on that your button, it will simply take them to your WhatsApp. It's as simple as that right so if, even if you don't have a website you can send traffic you can send people to your whatsapp so you don't need to you don't need to worry or kill yourself over not having a website it's not a must especially when you are starting up right you can actually get it later but if you're just starting up and you're just looking for how to like get get around you can just use this particular trick i just showed you now to create a whatsapp link for your whatsapp business line and then use the link as your website url so that when somebody clicks on your ad the ad will take them to your whatsapp and you can close the cell from there right so you just put the link here and that is just it so after putting the link here the next thing you are going to do is just to click on publish now when you click on publish you are going to wait for some time like few hours right sometimes it can even take few minutes depending on how many people that submitted their ads at that period of time right so it just takes you know some time for facebook to review your ad and then when they review your ad your ad will start running and that is basically how to run your instagram ads now if you found this video useful please make sure you hit the like button and, and drop a comment for me tell me how useful this video is to you and then hit the subscribe button and enable your notifications so that you don't miss out on any video i post on this channel see you next time bye